these are the highlights of game one. A mile high. Jokic, a couple of triple doubles in these playoffs already. Lillard with that 50 point game and that dramatic game winner to knock out OKC. And Ennis Cantor, who separated his left shoulder in that uh, OKC series starting tonight. Man, this guy. <laughs> that a soft touch for a big Hey, doesn't he, Shaq? He just, he some, just Chuck, somebody said that they remind him of Rick Smith. Do you agree? No, you? not even close. No. Rick Smith wasn't that fluid. Dame Lillard. No. A couple of threes that. there. And then Paul Millsap, who had himself me. a big <laughs> first half. <laughs> oh, that's right. You did. You did. <laughs> I said, you me. Millsap working on Mo Harkless. Uh, he too little. Oh, yeah. Next time, bring more. 58-55. Nuggets at the half. Where at? In the ass. No, look at Leave it. Ah. Jokic for three. Uh, you know, Paul Murray had a solid opener. He, Ernie, he played fantastic. 23 and 8. And then he pulls up for three and drains it. Uh, with their confidence at home. Yes, well, also, I, Ernie, Shaq, they beat them three out of four during the regular season. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. The one they lost was when that guy didn't play. There's Jokic again. Oh, the oh what a pass. Three. Oh, what a just. Oh, oh. How did that thing go by? Let me see, Gary. Did you hit the floor, Gary? Did you hit the floor, Gary? No, he oh, didn't. Oh, my goodness. That's just beautiful, America. Give me this little sap. Give me this little guy. Only had two points in the second half. Well, he had been tired after that great first half. <laughs> Lillard straight line. Oh. The I like the way that they, they were taking away Dame Street. Okay, Stop Joker. The ball. Okay, Joker. I didn't think this was a flagrant. What? He reached at the ball. <laughs> Come on, he slapped him in the face. You can't miss. That's accidental kind of. That's, yeah, accident. that's, that's accidental. accidental. You can't. You, you can't. Good call, that's that's can't you can't. Referee oh, intent. Mason. Everyone can say well, uh, Intent matters. Everybody would say it's accidental. No, no I didn't no. really mean to elbow him in his face. Joel B said. <laughs> exactly. You can't, you gotta, you gotta that was an accident. That's incidental contact. Oh my, that's not incidental. Did he, he smack him in the face? He yeah, went for the ball. The ball. Well, he missed and he got him in the face. One twenty-one. They both got. They both. Got air in him. Why is it his fault? <laughs> I would blow. I would make that rule every time Let me you show you how it works. Because Portland shoots 52 percent in the loss. Denver 51 percent in their game one win. Here's head coach Mike Malone. 90 to 88, we win. 121 to 113. Uh, obviously, uh, winning is the most important uh, analytical stat out there. Uh, but I, I did not like our defense tonight, uh, especially in that first quarter. They had 18 points in the paint. Uh, they found the roll man time and time again for easy layups. Uh, we were down the floor on their three-point shooters. So, um, you know, we got the win. And when you get a win and you know you didn't play your best basketball, that, that's a good feeling. But I think everyone in the locker room knows that we have to be a lot more locked in uh, on that end of the floor to try to get a second win. It and so the series will continue in Denver right here on TNT on Wednesday night before heading to Moda Center on Friday and Sunday. What'd you learn about Denver tonight? These uh, these playoff newcomers for much of that roster that you maybe didn't already know. Uh, nothing really, honestly. Uh, this is like like Charles said. They uh, you said honestly, three out of four. This is the way they played. The only thing I would say in Portland, what I learned about Portland is that. This is where the size of the backcourt showed a little bit. Uh, they weren't able to defend the backcourt that is, you know, of Harris and Murray. They were able to get their shots off comfortably. Against San Antonio, I didn't think they got their shots off as comfortably because of the size in the backcourt that the Spurs possessed, bringing in all of those guys to guard those guys. I think that was a difference. Also, I think Damian Lillard probably will say, I was a little too aggressive <laughs> driving the lanes on, on pick and rolls. They were doubling him, and he was trying to split it every single time. I think he'll pull back on the, on, the, on the pick and roll and maybe not be in attack mode trying to dribble through the double team. A lot of people thought because <clears throat> Denver was in the game seven that they would be tired, but we know. That doesn't play, matter. You're right. We, we know that when you play every other day, you're still in rhythm. I thought they, were, they had great rhythm tonight. Uh, they play well. I like how Millsap asserted himself. Everyone knows that Jokic and Jamal Murray, that's the one-two punch. But when you can get others to come in and give you high numbers, it's almost a guarantee win. So Millsap came out and played tonight. And, uh, I have a question for the panel if we have time. Yeah. Well, Shaq uh, and Charles, when you lose a game one and you have to stay in the city for 48 hours for game two, like this is happening all the time, 
Was that an advantage for you guys or a disadvantage? It was an advantage for me because you all know I'm sensitive. So I would go out and look for people to make me more even matter. Like I walk around and people go, uh, you went two for 19 for the free throw line. So it was just eat me up. And like I wouldn't do all the crazy stuff like go out doing a regular season. I'd just go out, look for people to say something to me and just, and just get <laughs> real, real pumped up. Watch you guys, watch Chuck talk crazy. Somebody gonna go to, right, somebody's going to come right up to you and, oh, yeah, and say yeah, that stuff? All the time. Like, ah, two Wait. for 19, hack and shag, ah, ah. Is that a foul? Like, is that a foul too? Like, what about you, Chuck? Uh, uh, number one, are you sensitive? Yeah. Just, yeah. Very. We, yeah, yeah. Sure. we know that. No, I don't think it matters. I think for it me, it didn't bother you. I thought what happened tonight in this game, Denver did not play nervous at all. They Murray played Millsap. You know they were nervous against the Spurs, especially after they lost early in the series. You can tell, and even even Sunday night in the game, uh, uh, game seven, they Terrified. played. Excuse me, yeah, they were they were very nervous. They didn't play. They didn't show any nerves tonight. Yeah, is this is that a function of winning a game seven over a San Antonio it's, team, and yeah. then and then saying, okay, we're at home, and let's say. We've... But but that was the one thing I told you. I told you the same thing about the Golden State Warriors uh, when they had game six against the Clippers. There's a totally different mindset when you play these games at home. You, you, your crowd, everybody's positive, everybody's lovey-dovey. So the biggest advantage for the Warriors uh, and the referees uh, and also with this Denver Nuggets team <laughs> playing at home. If they had to go, uh, Portland hadn't played since last Tuesday. If they had a, been at home, it would have been a different feel. For well, I, I think the different thing also is if, if, go, if Denver had one game seven at home and had to travel that's what I just then, said, yeah, fool. What right, you said. Yeah, no, but no, but it had to travel. What also is uh, is big is the not just the home environment. It's the adrenaline, because you that adrenaline drops when you go on a, on, on the road Yo, differently. Man. Next time not, you, not just a crowd. That's time, not a, you, even say, you don't even know how to spell adrenaline. Just, so just, I know you didn't say that. Just give Charles attribution for the, Thank you. For the idea. Just stop yeah, repeating that to me all the time. Well, spell you repeat adrenaline. yourself 20 times a show. <laughs> Thank you. What are you talking about? Yeah, oh, but, I'm sorry. But there's I'm a difference between repeating what somebody else said and repeating yes. what he what he okay, said. I'm